It looks like a small piece of cosmic rock might be the only thing that would stop us from uncovering the mysteries of the cosmos, despite NASA spending about $10 billion on a space telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope has been making headlines over the past few weeks, all thanks to its stunning images that are almost beyond verbal description, and also for its future potential for space exploration. But things began to go south when NASA confirmed an irreversible damage on the James Webb Space Telescope, which could change everything about this $10 billion device. So stick around till the end of the video to know more about what caused this irreversible damage and how it might affect the future of space exploration. Even with all the scientific advancements, we still don't have accurate data about what lies beyond our planet. The only reason we have a rough idea about the other planets or galaxies is thanks to the existence of the Hubble Space Telescope, which was launched back in 1990. But even the Hubble needs an upgrade, and something more advanced has come to replace it. The James Webb Space Telescope has become a worthy successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. The primary goal of JWST is to study the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. This makes the Webb Telescope similar to a time machine because it can study the very first stars and galaxies that formed in the early universe. Traveling back in time through space images is possible because light takes a lot of time to travel from there to here, which means the farther we look, the further we can look back in time. But again, the universe keeps on expanding. Therefore, the farther we look, the faster the objects are moving away from us, redshifting the light. Now, in case you don't know, redshifting simply means that the light is emitted as ultraviolet or visible light and it's shifted more towards the redder wavelengths in the near and mid-infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum for higher redshifts. So in order to study the earliest star and galaxy formation in the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope had to be designed in such a way that it can observe the infrared light. The James Webb Space Telescope also needs to take astonishing pictures that are way more accurate than the ones from the Hubble Space Telescope. The beauty and quality of an astronomical image depends on two main factors. The first one is the sharpness, and the second one is the number of pixels. What makes the James Webb more powerful than the Hubble is the fact that the images are infrared, which can be translated by computer into a clear, visible picture. Webb can also see orange and red visible light, which means we'll be able to see way deeper into the cosmos. The Webb telescope does this with the help of a large primary mirror, which is about two and a half times larger in diameter and about six times larger in area than the Hubble. The JWST has more light gathering power apart from being equipped with infrared instruments. This primary mirror has a collecting area that is seven times more powerful than the current generation of space telescopes. James Webb also has a significantly larger view than the camera on Hubble and a better spatial resolution than the infrared Spitzer Space Telescope. However, this exact set of mirrors were subject to a micrometeorite strike, which caused irreversible damage to the James Webb. But why exactly is NASA calling this damage an irreversible one? Well, this has to do with the fact that the JWST operates much farther away from the Earth. The James Webb telescope maintains an extremely cold operating temperature, with higher observing efficiency at a stable point known as Lagrange Point, which is about 1.5 million kilometers away from our planet. To put things into perspective, the Earth is at least 150 million kilometers away from the Sun, and the Moon orbits the Earth at a distance of approximately 384,500 kilometers. The Hubble Space Telescope, on the other hand, orbits around the Earth at an altitude of roughly 570 kilometers. As opposed to the Hubble, which was launched into space by the Space Shuttle, the JWST was launched on the Ariane 5 rocket. This means that the James Webb Telescope is not designed to be serviced by the Space Shuttle. NASA chose such a point in space because the Webb Solar Shield will block the light from the Sun, Earth, and the Moon, and this way, the telescope can stay cool, which is extremely important for any infrared telescope. What made headlines is the fact that the telescope was earlier hit this year by at least 19 small space rocks, also known as micrometeorites. One of these rocks reportedly left noticeable damage on one of the telescope's 18 golden mirrors. The impact reportedly took place between May 23rd and May 25th. Space debris is a common problem for all kinds of spacecraft. 
This is the reason why the U.S. Space Surveillance Network keeps a track of over 23,000 pieces of debris that are large enough to cause damage to any spacecraft out there. But the millions of smaller orbital debris is almost impossible to track. NASA already expected such a thing to happen, which is why the agency performed multiple micrometeorite impact tests on the telescope by intentionally hitting it with micrometeorite-sized objects to see if the contact would affect the working and performance of the telescope. This could also be the reason why most of the debris did not affect much of James Webb Telescope's functioning, except for one micrometeorite, which was quite larger than what NASA initially anticipated. Researchers are currently studying the impact sites to determine the amount of damage it has caused. Dr. Thomas Zurbuchen, Associate Administrator at NASA's Science Mission Directorate, foreshadowed the agency's ability to move beyond this setback when he tweeted in June about early reports regarding micrometeoroid impact impacts on the telescope. Micrometeoroid strikes are an unavoidable aspect of operating in space. Recently, James Webb sustained an impact to one primary mirror segment. After initial assessments, the team found the telescope is still performing at a level that exceeds all mission requirements. Now this brings us to the next question. How will this damage affect the future images? Well, investigations are taking place to assess the long-term effects of the micrometeorites on the James Webb Space Telescope. The Webb engineers first detected deformations on the primary mirror during the first commissioning period during the alignment phase, which put the 18 segments of the hexagonal mirror into the best position to capture light. But NASA stated that only a small portion of the telescope is affected and 17 mirror segments still remain intact. This means that the engineers are confident about the James Webb performing up to its maximum potential by using the other mirrors. The engineers will be able to realign those other segments so that the best images can still be captured using the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA is confident that the $9.7 billion telescope, which was launched on Christmas Day in 2021, is doing better than what the agency anticipated. That is evident from the fact that the agency revealed the first few images that the telescope captured of deep space. However, things are getting a lot more challenging for the telescope over the next two years because it will be flying through dust and debris left in the inner solar system by Halley's Comet, and scientists are constantly working on mitigating the risks. Luckily, the Halley's Comet itself is not going to strike the Webb Telescope, and scientists are not expecting the comet until 2061, which is positive news since there's a high chance that the JWST won't even exist by then. Let's wait and see how the James Webb Telescope performs and reveals new insights about the universe. Maybe soon, we could find out about the existence of life beyond our planet. After all, the James Webb Telescope is here to rewrite cosmic history as we know it. It might also clear up so many mysteries surrounding the way we understand the cosmos. The development of JWST is a result of three decades of tremendous progress in space exploration, and we must give credit to the Hubble Space Telescope for laying the groundwork. Most people think that the James Webb Space Telescope is a replacement for the Hubble, but NASA calls it a scientific successor because most of the goals for the JWST were motivated by the results we obtained from the Hubble. Despite the recent damages on its mirrors, the space community is excited about what NASA can discover with James Webb. But if damages continue to occur, then the James Webb Space Telescope might be a total failure in our attempt to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos.